Hi everybody, Paul Gray here saying thanks for joining me again for Grace with Paul Gray. We've been looking at some of the wonderful, unbelievably wonderful good things, treasures that we already have because we're already in Christ. I want to read just a little bit of John 17, 11, 20. I read the whole thing the other day. <clears throat> but listen to what Jesus is praying out loud here. His eyes opened and his hands up to the Father. And he's praying out loud <clears throat> so that the disciples can hear what he's saying. He says, Father, keep through your name, the name Father, those whom you've given me. And we learned earlier that he's given him everyone. That they may be one as we are one, that they may have and experience my joy made full and complete and perfect within them, filling their hearts with my delight and keep them from the evil one. John recorded that when Jesus prayed that prayer, he asked that the Father would make us one with him, that we would have his joy, and that God would keep us from the evil one. Do you think the Father heard that prayer? Do you think he answered Jesus' prayer? I believe he did. Now, before that, early in his ministry, Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 6, verses 13 through 19, what we call the Lord's Prayer. And there's a phrase in that where Jesus said, Father, don't lead us into temptation, but rescue us from the evil one. The Jews at that time under the Old Covenant thought that apparently thought that God would lead them into temptation. Well, look at what James, Jesus' half-brother, later wrote, <clears throat> James 1, 13, 15. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he himself tempt anyone. But each one is tempted when he's drawn away by his own desires, his own desires, and enticed. Then when desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin, an entity of itself, and sin, when it's full grown, brings death. The wages of sin is death. God doesn't kill us or punish us or torture us. Sin itself does. Here's what I think we need to know today. God doesn't tempt us, ever. He doesn't send us problems to test us. And he answered Jesus' prayer. He keeps us from the evil one. Now, I want to give you a little story to illustrate that. You may have seen the movie The Green Mile uh, with Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks was uh, worked at a prison on death row, and The Green Mile was the, uh, the hallway painted green that was on death row. There were maybe a four or five cells on each side of that uh, walkway, and in it were people who were condemned to death. There was one particularly awful man there who we find out at the end of the movie did the, created the crimes that another man was actually on death row for. But this man was, he was evil. And when you walked down that aisle, he would spit at you, he would scream at you, he would uh, do bad things to you. He couldn't touch you, but he could throw things at you if he had them. And he would just uh, really attack you verbally but he couldn't, he didn't have the power to get to you and hurt you. Now, I believe that that's what Jesus has done with the evil one with us. I mean, he can shoot thoughts into our mind. He can tempt us. He can accuse us. He can uh, put us down, all those kinds of things. But he, he can't hurt us, and he can't make us do anything. Now, other people may do evil to us, and there obviously is evil in the world. But even then... Jesus is working all of those things out for good. Sure, we'd rather not have people do evil to us. People would rather not have us do evil to them. But it does happen. But once we know that Jesus has defeated death and evil, and it has no control over us, once we know that Jesus is continually working out even that, that evil thing for the good, which is ultimately the restoration of all people, <clears throat> then we can go with it. We need not fear evil or the evil one. Christ has already defeated evil, and the Father keeps us from the evil one. The worst evil can do is kill us. Now, obviously, that's bad. We don't want to lose our friends prematurely. But we also know the minute that happens, we go to be in conscious awareness 
of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and everything good forever. So we can be comforted by that. So today, let's think about and remember that God has taken care of the evil one. As far as he's concerned, we need to trust him and go with him. Thanks for listening. See you tomorrow.